Hey guys, welcome back. We got another beautiful Saturday. I'm on a water restriction here and we have had rain down fours, you know, for half hour, 45 minutes. And you know, that stuff just runs off to the street, sewer, and the water goes away. So your lawn hardly absorbs anything. Today I'm gonna show you what I do with the water restrictions here. I get a, I got this a Harbor Freight. It's a sprinkler pump. So you can pump the water back into your lawn. Uh, you see I got two 50 gallon barrel, uh, rain barrels here. And behind the garden, behind the jungle, I should say. We got two more. So I run about 200. The only thing you have to do is you gotta make sure you clean it. So with the rain, and I know this is not ideal. I wanna up the feed for the pump, but it works pretty good. It doesn't, I don't hear air or anything like that. Uh, so what you wanna do is you just wanna bleed it. See there, right at the top. It's semi water. You don't wanna just drench it like I did. And it's connected to a GFI plug. That's another thing. All right. I just bought this hose so I, we can make the video and I can show you guys because we, you know, we all have different size lots. If you're in the water restriction area, I think this is awesome. All right, so I pulled up another hose. I'm just gonna keep you guys with me while I do this. Right. Go back here. We already primed the pump. Everything is on. The water's flowing. I already did a little check, so we used a little bit of that water. Right, here we go. See it over there. down fairly quickly you just got to make sure you know your sprinkler is good to go Still going. You just want to make sure too this feed is not too long on the manual to have a little bit of a I think it's 10 feet or something, I don't remember. So read the uh, manual. I'm afraid 130 bucks or something like that. I mean why not, right? So next year my plan is to get the big ones, the 400 gallon ones. I'll we'll try to make something more permanent. She's doing pretty good there. I could get the sprinkler a little finer, but I just want to make sure I keep watering the new lawn here. I don't want it to str I don't want to stress it too much. I don't, I don't want to restart everything in the fall. So that is awesome. And I usually stop at about a quarter of it. So like about here. See where the handle is there? Just click it. Stop at about here. And if you think of it, that's a lot of water. The only pain is up front, I'm not gonna lie to you. So that's why I wanna get some more up front also. I can get two, four, maybe six, you know, but I have to buy a little maybe nicer ones, you know, with the little flower pots on top. Fancy dancy. It's gotta look good.
back here we don't really care too much. Look at it. Man. Bam! I'm just like speechless. Thumbs up for uh, Yard's Mastery. I mean, really awesome. And the, the soil test is perfect, you know? Still pumping away. What do you guys think? Leave me your comments on the bottom. Do you guys have a lake behind you you can do this stuff? Or that would be awesome. <laughs> I mean, you know, like I said, a well is just would be ideal, but just the amount of money it costs, it's just just can't do it. You know. did say that you can run multiple sprinklers. Uh, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Let's see here. I kinda, I should have moved this again, but. Didn't do this right. Yeah, it's not much, but I think anything helps. All right, so I'm just gonna that was 50 gallons. I'm gonna hook the other barrel to it. I'll be back. I just started another 50 gallons. Leave this running here for a little bit. Doing a up on the front too. About 10 gallons, maybe. This is 50. Cool. Help. I'm really thankful for my soil for doing the soil test. Um, you helped everything. You know, the knock on wood, no disease on the garden, no disease on the lawn. I had a little issue with my blade, but I was able to find new ones. Uh, I think I hit a rock. The thing is kind of, one of them was kind of wonky, so just chuck it, get a new one. You know, like I, like I said, it's kind of a pain because you can't just set it, turn the water on and go back inside and, you know, watch some TV. But it's free water. I don't think I go more than uh, one. Especially with that, those big boys right there. Uh, maybe if you have a little fan sprinkler one that I do it on the front, I use that one there. Maybe you can do two on those. All right, we're about half now. And maybe five, ten minutes. Not long at all. So, let's check the water. See how much water we got. Probably get about a quarter of an inch or so, I'm hoping. We'll work on the uh, more storage for next year. I like the idea. Gonna go bigger. I don't know if you're gonna see it, but I can kind of see the barrel now. We're getting pretty close, boys and girls. Really, really close. I'll sit up here. You're gonna hear it gargling or air in the pump. I shut it off. You got about, per manufacturer, you got about, it's not too hot. You have about 10, 10 seconds, I think, to run this without water before you burn it. Don't do it. I'll just sit here. Yep, we're right there. It's gonna stop it now. I should have saved the water from previously, but I didn't. So 
so we just uh it's not much at all but i think anything helps right let's go measure that on the rain gauge what does that look like i don't know oh double it if you guys are okay with it that's dry right make sure it's no rain at all. They say it was going to, but the sky just turned gray and that was the end of it. Yeah, we had about a quarter of an inch. So if you guys are okay, I'll double that up with the previous. Uh, so, so we can actually say that we'll probably do a quarter of an inch with that sprinkler per 50 gallons. So probably gonna need three, 400. I think that's the size they have, 450. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely looking into that option. All right guys, I hope you liked that. I hope you found the uh, video informative, helpful. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.